gave a, a talk on the lawn there where he took the picture on the Madman Abhava Nakto verse and uh, linking it with uh, how to, you know, here in New Mayapur is, you know, very perfect place to learn how to love Krishna. Uh, he mentioned, I counted, I transcribed the lecture, he, 83 times he mentioned loving Krishna. <laughs> he doesn't speak about, you know, uh, chanting your rounds or book distribution or, or you know, he just say, you know, you have to love Krishna. There is no difficulty. <laughs> 83 times. And then there was a few things there, you know, like uh, the beautiful words from Prabhupada, he said, you know, like, we were sitting around him on the grass and he has his eyes closed, listening himself and us also, us also to the loudspeaker. Chant he was chanting on the loudspeaker, the Brahma Samhita. That was very beautiful. So anyway, all of European ISKCON was here, you know, waiting for Prabhupada to come to install Krishna Balaram. So everybody was there, sunny days, everybody happy, you know, her hero is here. And listening like that. And then the loudspeaker stopped, you know. And it was just, you know, and Prabhupada was into Brahma Samhita Krishna. And then Yogeshwar broke the silence and he said, Sure, Prabhupada, you have the most wonderful voice of the whole universe. And, you know, Prabhupada stayed like that and devotees cheer and enjoy, Sure, Prabhupada. Then Prabhupada opened his eyes and he said, Yes. This is because his voice doesn't belong to this universe. And devotees, you know, doubly cheered and chai, Sri Prabhupada. <laughs> hey, Krishna. Uh, the next one was in 74. Uh, I went to Brindavan to, uh, you know, see the devotees, see Krishna consciousness and see Prabhupada. I did not join yet. There was almost nobody there. Just, you know, I remember Brahmananda, Jamuna were there. And I stayed there for like maybe two weeks. Prabhupada was there, very peaceful. It was a very peaceful time, transcendental. And I was uh, given the task to um, uh, t take Sri Prabhupada remnants after his uh, prasad. I was uh, sitting on the outside veranda. Prabhupada was sitting outside on his a uh, string bed with uh, Kinshana Das, Krishna Das, Babaji Maharaj. He was, you know, speaking, laughing together. I was there every day, you know, eating Sri Prabhupada remnants and cleaning his plate and his uh, shower bucket and everything like that. So, uh, you know, yeah, Prabhupada called me, you know, and, and asked me what I'm doing. So he told me, uh, you should finish your uh, studies. I was in allopathic medicine. So he said, you should finish these studies and take care of the devotees. So he was concerned with practical matters in this way. And then during the class um, he gave, the class was about uh, how the Bhaktivedanta gave mercy to the little Narada Muni as a little boy. And he explained that, you know, during the rainy season, you know, that's a sage. They, uh, service is to give mercy like that. And Narada Muni, you know, to just, you know, humble service, you know, eating the remnants, giving their food, listening to that. And he said, just like this young French, uh, French boy, uh, he got my mercy. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I feel like, uh, of course, we all got your Prabhupada's mercy in some other different ways. But, uh, no, like many, uh, of course, I have no qualification to be a devotee. And as Prabhupada said, you know, he created our pious activities, our qualifications. So for me, that was quite a concrete way to exemplify this uh, fact that Sri Prabhupada, you know, made us uh, aspiring devotees by giving us his mercy. When Sri Prabhupada came here in 76 uh, in order to install mainly Sri Sri Krishna and Balaram, you know, all over Europe everybody came for the occasion. 
It was very beautiful weather, beautiful transcendental atmosphere. We received our transcendental hero, spiritual master and savior. And, and there was initiation, the morning of the installation. And, uh, you know, hundreds of devotees were sitting on the grass down of Sri Prabhupada apartments there on the road, ready for the initiation to start. And, and Prabhupada was here at the windows. I was on the lawn, but he was there at the windows with the first uh, New Mayapur temple president, Vishwambar Prabhu, who told me that Prabhupada was looking at the devotees down there. And with tears in his eyes actually gliding, he said, when I see all these young uh, boys and girls taking shelter in this new Mayapur, that makes me very, very happy. This is my victory. And he was emotional. And of course, one thing Prabhupada said also, maybe quite significant, about Krishna Bararam in New Mayapur. A few months later in Hyderabad, four months in November, after installing in August, he said in a conversation, conversation which is recorded, that um, of course without spiritual strength, uh, it's not possible to you know, progress and become self-realized. And he says the real strength comes from Bararam. And then he added, and therefore, now, in Europe, in New Mayapur, we have Balaram, we have Krishna Balaram. And the, all the devotees in Europe, they can take strength from this Balaram. So he made it, you know, like, um, all, the, you know, like, some other now, New Mayapur is the only existing temple which has been founded personally by Sri Prabhupada. And, uh, it, you know, it could be like uh, he gave this uh, bona fide and clear instruction of mercy, let's say, more than that, to all devotees in Europe, which is not easy, you know, the whole continent. We have our own difficulties. You know, America has its own qualifications and with all difficulties, but Europe is not easy to preach to, and especially France. And he brought Krishna and Balaram here, saying that you know, all devotees for Europe, they can derive spiritual strength for themselves and for their preaching from Lord Balaram. So at least well, that was one reason why he installed Krishna Balaram in New Mayapur. I remember also when he was walking and speaking on his new Yasasan. He was speaking about Krishna a lot. And because he's, you know, when he was saying out the word Krishna, you know, as we know, you know, Namo Chintamani, you know, Nitya Purna, Nitya, you know, it's fully Krishna, the transcendental sound vibration of his name, spoken out by a devotee. It's fully Krishna, Purna. And I, you know, I could like physically feel that, you know, when he was speaking Krishna, because he had fully Krishna in his heart through his full devotion for, for the Lord, when he was speaking out, you know, the word Krishna, it was fully Krishna who was there. And although we were, you know, I was so far away from being Krishna conscious, that, you know, really, gave me a lot of faith. It was like, wow, Krishna is here. Really? Okay, the blue boy, you know, the absolute truth is, uh, you know, uh, Krishna and God, Supreme. That's it, yeah, I believe. I face, you know, he's coming out of the mouth of Sri Prabhupada. He is coming out. That was a very strong thing. I really you know, struck me, you know, the sound vibration of Krishna's name coming out of Sri Prabhupada's heart and mouth made appear Krishna completely. That was very strong, very nice, very convincing, beautiful. Mm -hmm.